managing money as possible on your own. Uh, all of you will set up some financial goals of maybe buying a car or a bike, uh, going on a vacation with friends. So all of those immediate things that you're thinking of, you'll be able to handle on your own. And yes, all of this is possible without kind of getting into borrowing money to realize a lot of these dreams. A lot of you will be having dreams of immediately kind of, you know, spending your first salary or immediate first few months of salaries onto things that you've been yearning for. So you might want to upgrade yourself with a new phone, you might want to buy some new clothes, get into a weekend trip with friends. So these are the images which normally kind of struck strike when you're thinking of uh, money coming which is all by yourself to manage. If you see this list, there is a long way of, you know, you can easily segregate them between what is essential and what is something which can be delayed or is not an essential uh, item in itself. <clears throat> so for you as a beginner, it will be a nice idea if you can, you know, jot down almost all that you will be thinking of buying into a long list and then kind of differentiating from that list what are the essential items that you definitely need and what is it that you can kind of postpone or delay for a later date. I'll show you with an example as we go forward. So questions which you need to ask yourself before upgrading a phone for instance would be, uh, can I live without that upgrade for the time being? And you know, trying to see if it, is, if it can be delayed by a week, if it can be delayed by a month. Or in case of a vehicle, you can always think of, you know, do I need to buy a new car or can I use, buy a used car before I kind of move on to a new car. Just to show you some impact on how, how much, you know, small savings help over a period of time. Of course, Dr. Mittal will kind of show you a bit more serious in, uh, examples of how saving and investing money can kind of result in big, big sums that you can save over a period of time. But just to give you a right example in terms of most of us land up kind of thinking drinking a coke a day is not a big thing. But if you add up consuming a can of coke a day and do some maths around it for over a year, this is the kind of money that you can kind of effectively try saving. Of course, I'm not getting into the health hazards of consuming so much coke. Likewise, everybody likes to go for a weekend movie, have some time spent with friends, enjoy yourself. It's all good, but Somewhere all of these things cost, it just doesn't come free. Yes, you feel good, you feel very happy kind of spending time with friends, but all of this comes with a cost which you will realize that wherever you can save a bit, it will kind of take you a long way to go in life. <clears throat> 